हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल के एस एस गुरुकुल टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द हाईएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर और एच सी एफ इट इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर और ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन डिविजर और ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन मेजर द हाइस्ट और द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर हुई कैन डिवाइड टू और मोर गिवेन नंबर इविनली और एक्सैक्टली विथ रिमाइंडर जीरो इज नॉन एज एच सी एफ ऑफ दैट नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइव इज द एच सी एफ ऑफ फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड थर्टी फाइव देर आर डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग एच सी एफ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट देम कॉमन फैक्ट्रेजर मेथड प्राइम फैक्ट्रेशन मेथड डिविजन मेथड लॉन्ग डिविजन मेथड फर्स्ट लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट कॉमन फैक्ट्रेशन मेथड टू गेट द एच सी एफ ऑफ गिवेन नंबर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड द फैक्टर्स ऑफ देम देन द कॉमन फैक्टर्स बिटवीन देम आर सिलेक्टेड एंड द ग्रेटर वन एमोंग देम इज द एच सी एफ For example, number six have factors one, two, three, six. Number eight have factors one, two, four, eight. Number ten have factors one, two, five, ten. Now, in the above table, there are two common factors of six, eight, and ten. That is one and two. Each factor two is the greater than factor one. As we have discussed above, here the SCF is two. Let's take another example. Number thirteen have factors one thirty. Number twenty-seven have factors one three nine twenty-seven. Here one is the common factor, so the SCF is one. Now we can say that if among the given numbers one number is prime, then the HCF will always either one or that prime number. Not out of these two. In more simplified language, if among the given numbers there is one prime number and no such number which is a multiple of it, then the HCF will be one. and if among the given numbers there is one prime number and a number which is a multiple of it then the hcf will be that prime number let's discuss one more example number 3 have factors 1 3 number 9 have factors 1 3 9 number 27 have factors 1 3 9 27 Number eighty one have factors one three nine twenty seven eighty one. Here one and three are the common factors, so the greater number that is three is the HCF. Now we can say that among the above given numbers, all the greater numbers are divisible by the smallest number three. Thus, we can conclude that among a set of given numbers, if all the greater numbers are divisible by the smallest one, then the HCF is the smallest number. Next is prime factorization method. Let's calculate the HCF of sixteen, forty, and sixty-four. Step one: to get the HCF of a set of given numbers. first we have to break down them into such a set of prime factors that multiplying them together will produce that original number step 2 then the common factors between them are selected and the greater one among them is the hcf for example let's take some numbers and get their prime factors Number sixteen equal to two into two into two into two. Number forty equal to two into two into two into five. Number sixty-four equal to two into two two into two two into two. 
Now among them the common factor is 2, 3 times. Thus the HCF of 16, 40 and 64 is 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8. Take another example. We can write 27 equal to 3 into 3 into 3. 45 equal to 3 into 3 into 5. 99 equal to 3 into 3 into 11. Now out of these the common factor is 3 into 3 that is 9. Thus the ICF of 27, 45 and 99 is 9. Next is division method. In this method, we will divide the given numbers by a common prime number. This process will continue till there is no common prime number as division. For example, 16, 44 and 64 are the given numbers. They are divided by their common prime number 2, 2 times and stopped there is there is no more common prime number as division. Here the HCF is 2 into 2 that is 4. We have another example. 30, 45 and 75 are the given numbers. After dividing them by 5 and 3 as like before the, there remains no common prime factor. Thus, the HCF here is 5 into 3, that is 50. Last is long division method. This method is a process of repeated division. If there are given two numbers, the division is divided by the remainder. This process goes on till the remainder is 0. Now the division of the last division is the HCF. For illustration, 20 and 12 are the given numbers. Here 20 is the greater number and 12 is the smaller number. So we divided 20 with 12 and the remainder is 8. Now as we had discussed 12, which was the divisor, is divided by 8, the remainder. Again, 8, which was the divisor, is divided by 4, the remainder. Next, the remainder is 0. And thus, the process is completed. Here, the HCF is 4. Take another illustration. Let us take 16, 40 and 64. There are three given numbers. In these cases, when there are more than two given numbers, first we have to select two out of them. For instance, 16 and 40. Next, the HCF of these two is calculated as the process mentioned in first illustration. 40 divided with 16 and the remainder is 8. Now 16 which was the divisor is divided by 8 the remainder. Now the remainder is 0 and thus the process is completed. Here the HCF is 8. Next the HCF of the remaining number that is 64 and the resulting HCF that is 8 is calculated by the same process. 64 being greater is divided by the smaller number 8. Now the remainder is 0 and thus the process is completed. The final HCF is 8. Let's discuss some important points about HCF. HCF of a set of given numbers is always smaller than each of the individual given numbers. HCF of two consecutive numbers is 1. HCF of two consecutive even numbers is 2. HCF of two consecutive odd numbers is 1. 
दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट दिस टॉपिक फील फ्री टू सब्सक्राइब लाइक शेयर एंड कॉमेंट योर वेल्यूएबल व्यूज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग